This is Boxing Tickets and I in association with SB Sports in Chicago. We're here at the weigh in and delighted to be joined with the Magic Man, Mark the Lot, once again. Mark, your fifth show of the year. Um, and I'm probably saying, in some ways, probably one of your best shows of the year. When you look at it, two really, really good 50 50 collect title fights, prospects, comebacks, debuts. You probably couldn't ask for more in a, in a final show at the end of the year. Yeah, it's, you know, it's been a, a mental year. In reality, it was nearly six shows in the last 12 months, obviously. But the probably one whenever I got COVID, I think last year, three or four days out, which was devastating for everybody. But then we took an aggressive approach this year, went for it, and uh, they say most of the lads have been on, on the mall, and the fans have been brilliant. They've all popped out, and uh, yeah, no, it's good to be to have this one. That as I say, it's the fifth one this year, last one. Thank goodness. Has it probably been the most enjoyable sort of year for you in a way that you'd be able to pump five shows out and sort of like you'd, yeah. you call them and, yeah. and Rudy obviously on the common card in, yeah. in August as well? Is it, is it probably been a satisfying year the fact that you'd be able to be so busy and keep your fighters so busy at the same time? Yes, well I've always kept my, fight, my fighters busy even in the pandemic. We were very fortunate to get some great fights for Tom McCarthy, James Tennyson, Nick Campbell. Uh, he won the Scottish this year, Eric's won the... Uh, the European, EBU European, and uh, who else was it? Uh, uh, Col- Colin with Col- a Colin won the Celtic. So we're three champions this year, which is very good. And a lot of building, you know. As you say, this show's going to be a real roller coaster with obviously comebacks, good opponents. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very, very decent show, and it has to be for TV. And I, and I wonder, you sort of touched on that as well. I knew when TG4 was involved with Eric's, we were sort of going. Is this sort of going to be a continual thing? Yeah. It's fantastic. Obviously, TG4 got, got behind again as well. It, like, it's massive for Irish boxing in general, the fact that it can be pumped out live across the world, yeah. that everybody can tune in if they can't be there tomorrow night. Yes, yes, it's very, very good. I mean, TG4 also have been very aggressive this year. They say they came back on the scene with my last show. they done Potty McGorry's show on, in Germany. Uh, they're doing this show and... Uh, Possibly, I'd like to see them. Well, you know, I'd like to see them doing McConnell's show as well. He's obviously deserves, you know, and the, and the local people deserve that of Ireland to have a big show like that on. So fingers crossed that it goes well for them as well. But they're 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 not tied to me. They're not tied to anybody. They're just want good fights. And that's what I guess that's what everybody wants nowadays. It's the the mainstream obviously media getting involved in it on TV. It makes it easier for for. For you, first of all, obviously, in trying to bring new sponsors in, in, in general in these shows, but also helps the fighters to, to, to build their appeal and, and make them more marketable and get more sponsorship involved as well. So it's a one-one for everybody. Oh, yes, yes. Well, at the end of the day, like everybody, we all need the punters in the arenas because without atmosphere, boxing's nothing. But, you know, it was very, very hard in the pandemic, putting on shows in empty rooms, you know. So we're very fortunate that things have gone well this weekend. There's a handful of tickets left. And uh, you know it's been a very it's been a challenge trying the Goodwood Hub. Uh, we've had to bring in uh, a bar, a separate bar, go to court, get it sorted. You know uh, the whole setup is going to be unbelievable. You know it's going to be a really really good night. And uh, yeah, everyone's chucking everything at it to make it work. And you know we will be back here in Europa, but uh, just for it was so so much easier this time to do the Goodwood Hub with the TV crew. But obviously, as I say, it's all about fights and uh, with two cracking, you know, 50 50 fights. I guess, obviously, Colin Murphy and obviously Liam Gaynor, obviously, it looks like it's a really, really good fight in paper. They probably seem similar in a way. They both seem like I've seen videos of Liam Gaynor dancing and stuff in the gyms. Yeah. They nearly look like they're twins, sort of, in a way. They seem to have a lot of similar characteristics. Yeah. So I guess that's going to build into a really good fight tomorrow night. Oh, definitely, definitely. It's going to be, you know, it's a real genuine 50 50. I mean, Yes, Liam wouldn't have the amateur experience that Colm had, but equally, you know, for want of a better term, Liam is a gym rat. He's never out of the gym. He's showed huge dedication to to move to Manchester. So he's picking up amazing sparring there. And uh, I think he's going to show everybody that he's not here just to make numbers. And for Colm, like, you know, Colm wants to really push on. And uh, as I say... This is his, you know, all his fights, he's been well, well, you know, put in. There's no handiness in any of his fights, so, you know, he's, and he's striving and progressing, so 
it's interesting to see and, and may the best man win because it is very hard to get two lads, you know, willing to throw it all on the line. And I guess obviously putting two to your own lads together as well, obviously Owen and Ellen, Owen Duffy. Yes. I guess the winner is going to be Owen. It's what obviously yeah. the last name it, it is. I yeah. thought you may give them both one more sort of warm up sort of towards each other. What sort of was it just the wellness of both of them on the fight? I just think because they've both been in camp for a while, you know, uh, Owen Duffy, he showed great heart to come back from that knockdown in the last show. Everyone's still fresh in everybody's memories, you know. He's busting for the title as much as as Owen Owen's been torturing me for step ups, their step up, and he since he's joined me, he's gradually stepped up, and now you know the two of them's in a genuine again 50-50 fight, and uh, you know again I managed both of them, you know they're both given at the opportunity the way uh, the way Rudy and Colin did, and uh, and you know again made the best man win, but it's going to be two cracking fights like they're of similar level at this stage in their career, so you know. Can even have a draw, who knows? Obviously, um, one of your signings, obviously, John Kenny, obviously, finally getting out. Um, I guess for him, obviously, it's going to be his first fight in Ireland, his sixth fight in total. Yeah. I guess you're obviously excited to see, obviously, how John obviously gets on tomorrow night. Yes, yes, I'm delighted. Uh, Dan Boyle's been doing a great job with him, and, uh, you know, he's coming on lovely. Uh, he's had a real hard, hard time, you know, trying to get his license sorted for whatever reason. But, you know, he's now uh, joined the British Boxing Board of Control under their wing and he's eligible for everything that they can throw, Celtic titles, uh, he's still, uh, he'll still be eligible for the BUI Celtic title as well, so yeah, he's another one that wants to wants to move on, which is hence, he didn't want a handy comeback, he wanted a good comeback and Angel Gomez is going to give him that there because, as I say, we've had him here a couple of times now, he's fought Colin, he's fought Eric Donovan, went the distance and tough as nails. And obviously uh, Dominic Donegan obviously coming back obviously under sad obviously circumstances obviously losing his close friend Harrison Jameson yeah. might obviously be I guess in some ways sometimes when things like that happen it's the, the person comes out of it and I probably feared the worst when obviously it, it did happen that we, we obviously might lose Dominic for a yeah. while but obviously it shows a sort of testament the person he is he just wants to get back in there wants to get back to one of ways and start rebuilding Rebuilding it obviously himself, but obviously in the proud memory of his good friend as well. Yes, yes. Well, well, Dom, like Dom the bomb, I love him. Like, you know, he is like one of mine. Although Ian's a very good friend of mine, his manager, and uh, and you know, we have a great relationship. And I'll do anything for Dom because again, he's always there, ready to step up to the mark. He's worked hard. He, what he's had to go through this camp, knowing what's happened to Harrison, uh, has been, you know. Phenomenal. That shows his dedication. And like every boxer, he just needs a wee bit of luck. And and hopefully it'll come. He's got a rebuilding fight. No one's under any illusions. It's going to be fight of the night. But you know, we just want to see Dom doing well. He's working with Dan Anderson. See how the changes are progressing. And hopefully he'll be victorious on the night. Definitely, fingers crossed. I'm sure that they will not mean a lot to him. Yeah. Obviously, Conor Quinn obviously back out again. Obviously, a, a sort of strange draw last time out. Yeah. I don't think there was too many. It sort of give it anything other than a Connor win. Uh, I guess that'll put a bit more fire under his belly against Mike Young tomorrow night. Yes, yes, well, well Mike Young, as I say, you know, he's uh, he's been very active since he's turned pro. Uh, you know, he obviously doesn't have the same amateur experience as, as uh, Connor, but, you know, he's game and he's coming for it, and that's what it's all about. You know, like, you know, there's two people in the ring that bell goes, like, you know, he wants to go back to Manchester or Bolton with, with a victory, and uh, I don't think Connor. It's going to let that happen. It's going to be a cracking fight, but also, you know, touching on this last draw, uh, you know, I actually read, read uh, take my hat off to Mike Young. He was very complimentary, and he thought he couldn't see how he lost that fight. So, look, we'll have to move on from from it now, you know. Uh, and as I say, there's no malice with the referee. That was his decision. We've just got to push on now. And obviously, finally on the card, obviously David Ryan obviously making his debut, and actually a really, really good debut as well. He's obviously fighting the dangerous Brian Marina. That obviously shows a sort of testament as to how quickly he wants to progress. I just interviewed him there and he said, I'll not, obviously I'll fight anybody, I don't care, I've come from kickboxing before world champion. Mm -hmm. That obviously shows testament itself, he can just straight in debut Brian Moreno. Well it is, it is, there's no point with a kid with that or sort of uh, experience, there's no point in putting him in, you know, with someone like, he's going to, you know, bounce out and, you know, where's he come from? Uh, Shannon, they've all travelled a long way, he's brought a lot of fans. And like they want to see a proper fight, and that's all he wants to be in his proper fights. And kids, they got are hard to get. So uh, I'm very, very uh, 
very very appreciative that he's stepping up and, and taking on Mariano. He is a dangerous uh, dangerous foe, definitely. So yeah, no, it'll be a good fight, a good debut, and and it just shows his intent, which is what all the boxers are going to have to do now to push on. Just also want to finally touch on obviously a show clash obviously this weekend, obviously elite sport promotions, obviously bringing boxing back to Dublin, probably nearly. Just under four years shy. I'm sure, obviously, you'd like to pass on your obviously your congratulations to the fact that box on the size return again. And I'm sure you'll be, you know, as a magic man always does. You'll help anybody out in any way. Yeah. You'll obviously try and help any way you can. Because yeah. I guess a good thing is with you having boxers on the side as yeah, well, yeah. you can get them on the cards down there as well to make it easier for them. Yeah, but I was disappointed that no one approached me to put a fighter on. I'm not telling no word of a lie, but obviously, like it is what it is. Uh, but equally too, I'm very, very, very happy. I mean, Pascal Collins is well involved in that show, and Pascal's a good friend of mine, one of my coaches, so I'm happy and I'm delighted that they've had that show. I'm really, really gutted. One, that it can't be there, and two, that uh, we had to go the same night, but this was down to, purely down to TV. We're meant to go next week, as you know, but as I say, the TV were only free this night for us, so we had to, to move it. But from by all accounts, their show's going well, and if anyone's not coming up to mine, and they're not sitting in watching this on TG4, then please go to National Stadium. I'm sure they'll have tickets on the door. And uh, it'd be nice to, it's just nice to see boxing throughout Ireland really starting to thrive again. And I wish them all the best. Definitely, I think for anybody, you know, particularly boxers in the South, having to travel to Belfast all the time, it can get quite annoying. Very, very costly and stuff as well. And you bring in hotels and stuff yeah. for people that want to have a drink. Yeah. So I guess the more competitive it is there, I guess it's only going to lead to good things either north or south. Yes, yes, no, definitely. As I say, and that'll, once the lads become active and they start being able to, to put shows on down there, then we can do more of these north south battles. Like, uh, yeah, so I'm very day that there. Also, would like to say as well, on Saturday night, we're going to have a, a nice tribute to Harrison Jameson. He was meant to make his debut either on that show or on my show before obviously he was killed in a car accident, and his family's all coming up tonight. and. Uh, we're going to you know, show them plenty of respect on the night, so we're delighted with that. Definitely, I was as something that's, I guess, it'll hit home to a lot of people the fact that people, boxing and pets tribute to someone that didn't even get to make their professional debut, oh, no. but in, I know elite Devastate. sports promotions are doing something as well. Uh, Devastating for the kids, so as I say, you know, like one thing's for sure is like nothing's guaranteed in this life, so so that's why all these kids on this build tonight and down there and everywhere are really, really, you know, living the moment and fair play to them. Definitely. Well, listen, thanks very much for your time, Mark. Obviously, um, we'll, we'll get a chat with you tomorrow night and obviously see how things went. Obviously, when I touch on obviously Eric's uh, um, obviously retirement, but we'll do that tomorrow night. Yes, sure. and also just to say, I want to say there is some tickets left available on the door if anyone wants to come come along and get them. We'll be on Eventbrite, I think there's about 20 left. They'll be on Eventbrite until until 9 o'clock tonight and then you can get a pay at the door if there's any left. No problem. Okay. Thanks for your time, Mark. Cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye.